video presentation STA 104. Our topic is Open and Distant Learning ODL and our lecturer is An Azlan bin Abdul Aziz. Before I start my presentation, let me introduce my group member. My name is Mama Firinish bin Abdul Hamid. Uh, my fellow friend is Akif Isham bin Azri Sham. Next is Mama Amin Hadi bin Abdul Nasir. And lastly, Mama Azri bin Zainuddin. We are from class RAT 1104F. Introduction. Open and Distant Learning ODL is a teaching and learning approach that provides anyone, anywhere, and at any time with open and flexible access to learning opportunities. ODL is especially beneficial for potential students who are unable to take advantage of learning opportunities where they are available. For the student, learning opportunities must be available where they are and at a time that is convenient for them and their consumers. ODL also provides students with options for entry and exit point, as well as course selection, making it particularly suitable for lifelong learners who want to continue their education while working or doing domestic work. We choose this topic because recently, online learning has become common and has been practiced in various types of institutions in, type institution in Malaysia. So we want to observe and know that students prefer to study online or face-to-face. We also want to know the need they use while undergoing open distance learning or the air. There are three objectives from this study. Firstly is to know the type of facilities used by UITM student during ODL. Second is to know the platform used by UITM student during ODL. And lastly is to know the kind of online services used by UITM student. Next is sampling technique. First is population. Student from UITM Aeropolis. Sample. 15 students from UITM Aeropolis and technique. We use simple random sampling. So that's all for me. I will pass uh, to Akif Isham uh, for next part. Uh, thank you Afi Danish. Now I will take over the presentation. Now I will tell about the qualitative data that we take from our respondent. First of all, the data that we take it from the respondent is what the facilities are available during the ODL. The total respondent have is uh, 50 percent, and the facilities they are using during ODL, which is laptop, PC, tablet, printer, and scanner. From the from the respondent, they might use a laptop during the ODL session for help. Their test. The result shown that 40% use it when the ODL. From the result also showed that tablet and PC is the second and third most facilities that used by student for help their test during the ODL. Finally, scanner also help the student for the ODL but in low percentage, which is only 8%. The next data is which uh, platform you use for ODL class. The total respondent also 50, 50 people and a platform that might they use uh, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Webex, WhatsApp and Zoom. The total use of Google Meet is around 37%, Microsoft Teams 6%, Webex 2%, WhatsApp 4% and Zoom 1%. From this result, most of the students are using Google Meet for their ODL class. More than 30 students are using this platform. Google Meet platform was dominate this data or result because more than 50% that use this platform more than the other platform. Next is the platform that students prefer for online tests. The platform that might use is Google Classroom, Google Form, UFuture, and lastly, Microsoft Teams. These four uh, platforms, uh, the most major or the majority is uh, Google Classroom and Google Form that used by a student, which is uh, Google Form nominate the result with 40% overall. Microsoft Teams is the lowest user in UITM. 
This is because the lecturer is more convenient to use U feature, which is they can see that total use for U feature is 14, and this, place, this platform was created by UITM own. Uh, next is what are you prefer to use during the ODL, which is the preferred use of gadget during ODL. The student uh, majority uh, use a laptop. Most of the respondent prefer to use laptop during the ODL, maybe because of the convenience and the uh, the flexible how they can bring place by place. And phone is the second most popular gadget used by the respondent during the ODL. Tablet and PC is the, le is the least preferred used by the respondent during the ODL because maybe they are not user friendly. Okay, now I will give the presentation to Muhammad Azri. Okay, next I will continue for the last qualitative data which is uh, where do uh, students generally take classes during ODL. There are several students place uh, during, uh, for, ODL, uh, for ODL, which is uh, college, library, house, cafe, and the total of a uh, number of students is uh, 50. This is uh, the graph uh, from the data. 29 students attending the online class at house. College is the second most place students choose to attending their online class. Library and cafe have least uh, preference for students to attending online class with a total of one and two students. For the next part, we move to the quantitative data. For the first uh, quantitative data is the internet speed rate. Uh, that student use for ODL. Uh, there are several class uh, that internet speed rate uh, that student use, which is uh, 1 until 20 Mbps, 21 until 40 Mbps, 41 until 60 Mbps, 61 until 80 Mbps, 81 until uh, 100 Mbps, and 101 Mbps and above. The total of number of students uh, is uh, 15 and the less than of boundaries is uh, total is 120.5 and the cumulative frequency is 50. This is a less than or give for the cumulative frequency distribution of internet spirit used by the students. That, uh, as, we, as we can see that uh, the internet spirit uh, increase from the uh, 0.5 until uh, 120.5 based on the uh, OGIF uh, the highest rate of internet speed uh, is between 1 to 20 Mbps and there and uh, there were a total of uh, 16 students who vote uh, for the 1 to 20 Mbps speed rate this show that uh, only 16 students who are experiencing uh, slow internet Next, uh, the second uh, quantitative data is uh, the total focus time needed by the students in class during ODL. Uh, the focus time that we observe uh, is uh, 50 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, and over, over an hour. Uh, the total of uh, the students uh, is the same, 50, and the class uh, is uh, 15. Uh, this is the histogram uh, from the from the data based on the histogram. The highest frequency of the students that focus uh, during ODL is uh, 30 minutes. The frequency is uh, 22 students. This shows that majority uh, all of students only focus 30 minutes early during the ODL. For the last uh, quantitative data, we make a research about the range expenses that students spend for internet service. The money spends uh, that we observe is uh, 1 ringgit until 20 ringgit, 21 ringgit until 40 ringgit, 41 ringgit until 60 ringgit, 61 ringgit until 80 ringgit, 
and the lastly is uh, 81 ringgit until uh, 100 ringgit the total of a uh, number of respondents is uh, uh, 50 and the midpoint is uh, 10.5 30.5, 50.5, and the lastly is a uh, 90.5. From the graph, you can see that uh, uh, the range uh, expenses spent for internet service is uh, increased from uh, 0 uh, until 10.5, and eh, sorry, uh, increased uh, from 0 until 30.5, and uh, decrease until 70.5 and increase back until 90.5 so based on the frequency polygon shows that uh, most of students which 24 students spend between 21 ringgit until 40 ringgit for internet services this uh, show that the total expenses for internet services is quite expensive okay now we move on data collection method in our survey, we have used two types of variable, which is qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative is not numerical. It fits into categories. For example, qualitative questions are which platform you use for ODA class and education level. For quantitative is a numerical. For example, uh, range expenses that students spend for internet service and the internet speed that students use for ODL. Next is scale of measurement. We also use two types of scale of measurement in our survey, which is ratio and nominal. So what are no nominal? Nominal is a thing or level with no sense of order. It can be stored as the words or text. To summarize it, we can use percentage. For example, in the survey, we ask them which platform do you prefer for online tests. The highest percentage is Google Form with 40% and the lowest is Microsoft team with 4%. Next is ratio. Ratio is a very straightforward. Why? Okay, for example, if we when we ask them about their current semester, if the answer is 4, means that their current semester is 4. But if the answer is 2, means their current semester is 2. So different numbers mean different semester. In conclusion, based on the responses we obtained from students after distributing this questionnaire, our group survey observed that students prefer to study online or face-to-face. -face. We also want to know the needs they use while undergoing open distance learning. We received 50 responses in total from students who were chosen at random from other faculties. According to the survey, the majority of your ITM students was using laptop during the ODS session for help for their test. The re results shown that 40% use it when the ODL. This shown that the laptop is a device that is a very popular among students because it is easy to use and carry anywhere due to its small size. Students also prefer Google Meet as a platform for ODL class and Google Form as a platform for online tests. Apart from that, from the survey, we can see that most of students generally take classes at house during ODL. So we also shown that majority of students only focus 30 minutes early during the class. And lastly, students have used money as much as RM21 ringgit and to RM40 ringgit to buy internet for online classes. Additionally, most students from the Faculty of Plantation and Agro Technology and from part 2 students responded to our survey since we first shared it to that faculty batch WhatsApp group before sending it to other, other students. That's all from us. Thank you.